what you guys will need for this install is a four millimeter Allen, five millimeter Allen, six millimeter Allen, eight millimeter Allen. Um, I like to use a ratchet and an extension. Uh, if you guys don't have that, just get yourself a set of metric um, Allen keys. We'll also need a 15 millimeter box wrench and a 17 millimeter box wrench. First, you will take off your clamps with a six millimeter. All right, so what we're gonna do, take our 15 bolt right here, turn your bars, and I'm wedging my leg behind this tire so that the steering doesn't move. And if it's rotating like it is right now, underneath and on top, then you have to stick your eight millimeter in there. Here we have our gauge. Uh, you need a four millimeter Allen. Now that this is apart. So before we go any further, we're gonna disconnect the battery. Just anytime you're working on electrical stuff, you want to disconnect your battery just in case there's a short or something like that. Here we have four millimeter Allen. But here's your battery. Uh, we'll disconnect these two terminals just need a 10 millimeter or a Phillips head screwdriver. When you're doing this, try not to touch your screwdriver with any of the connections to something metal like the frame or connect the two sides. Just to be safe, we're gonna take our leads, pull them off. All right, to take this cluster off, if you push down on this while pulling, so you get these two off on the sides and then push down on that middle piece and pull back, it pops right off. Here is the old uh, handlebar clamps and risers, uh, and here's the Corsomoto one. Uh, you're gonna be using the long bolt uh, with these spacers. So my guess originally was with this clamp and this bolt is if you don't use the spacer, but we put this in the triples and the bolt's not long enough, so I have no idea what these two bolts are. If we find out, we'll let you guys know. We'll call Corsa Moto. But yeah, so this one, cast aluminum. Um, the new one, billet, anodized, black aluminum. Really nice piece. We need to push these out. You're gonna use the rubber grommets, factory ones. So just push on the back side. You could use a flat head. Just kind of roll them out. Take these, roll them in. You can um, put some WD on this and then press it in. Take your long bolt, drop it in, and you don't need an Allen on the top. This just holds on to it. Put your spacer on. The one with the hinge will go on the right side and have it face, this is gonna be face towards the front. Take your riser, your bolt, spacer, and then make sure you use your factory washer. There is a washer that goes on top here, so this came off. We're also going to use the washer that came off of the bolt. I lock nut nut we'll be using um, is actually a 17. And we'll keep it kind of loose for now while we get things orientated. So if you guys noticed on the on the risers, there are three marks, and there are also three marks on the actual clamp. So usually factory has these marks pointed towards the front of the bike, so that's what I did here. Um, I think at this point it doesn't really matter too much, but basically when you clamp these on, uh, there will be a gap bigger on one side than the other, and that's what these marks are here to indicate. So we'll keep this with this side when we put this together. So just keep that in mind. While you're installing this, just have these marks pointed towards the front of the bike. Another thing, this spacer, you have this little uh, groove here. You want the groove inside of your riser. We can put our handlebars on and make sure they line up right. Have our little three marks here line up with this three marks. Well, not line up, but same way in the front. 
when you're tightening these on, you kind of want to do them evenly. Um, and the most important thing here is if you look at this side, the gap here is much larger than the other side. I like to keep them even, so you can back off one side a little more and clamp down on this side a little more. And that just evens up this gap. So now we'll take our bolt, thread it on one side. Once again, we'll just get a snug. Still moves around. Take our cluster, but just take this and pop it back in. And as long as that bar, you hear that click, now it won't come off. Take our back cover. So the cool thing about this is we can adjust where we want it to sit. When you like where you want it, make sure we tighten up that four millimeter Allen. Now take our 17 and we'll tighten up the bottom nut. Cut my zip ties I used. Take a seat, uh, push down in the front, slide it forward. You guys can see this is the factory clamp and there's a lot more room in the middle and they don't have the bar in the middle. As you guys can see, my camera or my phone was mounted here. I'm gonna put that in the middle. I think that'll be a lot better, easier to see. So there's a lot more room here for you guys to do that if you guys wish to do so. It just looks so much better. All right, that's it.